Catherine Mahler with another installment of Tips and Tricks. So today we're going to talk about the bow again and today we're going to talk about how you know whether or not your bow is tight enough. So if we look at the bow, we have the white part here, the horse hair, and then the stick. This part here is called the frog and then this part, the screw at the end turns and this is what you're going to use to make your bow tighter or looser. And all I mean by tighter or looser is that you can see, hopefully you can see, the horse hair is much looser and it's much closer to the stick. So that is what I mean by loose and then when I tighten the bow, the, hor the horse hair goes further away from the stick. So to tighten the bow, you're going to turn the screw clockwise. So if you're holding the bow in your left hand, you're going to turn the screw away from you. And you want to turn it so that there's space in between the stick and the horsehair and there should be enough space that you can slide a pencil in there without it touching the horsehair. If your bow is too loose what's going to happen is that the stick is actually going to rub against the strings while you're playing and it'll make a scratchy sort of <laughs> kind of sound when you're playing and we don't want that. If you tighten your bow too much so that the stick is straight or even bent out this way then what will happen is you'll actually damage the bow if you do that many, many times because the stick will warp and it will never go back to this shape. You see how the middle actually curves in towards the hair and you always want to have that curve even when your bow is tight. You never want to tighten it so much that it's straight or curved out the other way. You'll stretch out the hair of the bow if you tighten it too much and as I said, you'll, you'll make the stick warp. And both of those things mean that you won't be able to tighten your bow and it won't work properly. When you go to put your bow away, what you want to do is loosen it. So we're going to turn the screw counterclockwise. Or if you're holding the bow in your left hand, you're turning it towards you. And you want to loosen it until the hair is close to the stick. We don't want to loosen it so much that the hair is kind of flopping all over. Like if I loosen it too much, see how that hair is just kind of flopping around? We don't want to go quite that far. And you want to make sure that you do loosen your bow every time you put it away because if you don't what will happen is as the temperature changes as the atmospheric conditions change the bow will tighten and loosen on its own as the horse hair uh, either stretches if it's really humid and you open your case you'll notice sometimes that the bow is really loose even though it wasn't when you put it away or if you leave your case in sunlight Sometimes you'll open your case and you'll notice that it's really tight even though you didn't leave your bow tight. So you want to make sure that there's enough slack in the bow that it can absorb any of these changes. Otherwise, the horsehair will stretch and also the bow will warp. And again, we don't want these things to happen. So make sure every time you take your bow out to play that you tighten it. And then when you're putting your bow away at the end of practice, always make sure that you loosen your bow. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week.